Greetings family, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are here for the first time, I am Advocate Buleng. If you haven't subscribed, please do consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I want to thank everybody who has been here before, who continues to be here. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for your subscription. Thank you for commenting, for sharing, even for liking the videos. Today, I want to talk about the law on parole in South Africa. Remember, we are here to teach on South African law, and we also share on the word of God. We share on, uh, on um, pearls of wisdom. What is parole? Parole is defined as or is regarded as conditional freedom of a prisoner, of an inmate, of a person who would later be called a parolee. This person has served part of his sentence. In most instances, he has served half of his sentence and he's released, thus he gains his freedom. He is no longer behind bars, but he remains under the control of the parole authority. So it is conditional freedom. You are free, but it is based on certain conditions that I will outline later in this discussion. So it is a manner of placement whereby this person, the inmate, the prisoner, the parolee, subject to a completion of a minimum period of sentence, as, as I have said, half of his prison uh, sentence. Maybe he was there, he was in prison for 10 years, he has finished the five years. So a period of sentence has been completed inside a correctional center and um, subject to certain criteria being met as well. He has met a, a certain criteria, be it behavioral or whatever. And this person may be allowed to serve the remaining part of his sentence within the community. Now, in South Africa, this parolee system is governed in terms of the Correctional Services Act number 111 of 1998. I must hasten to mention that there are three types of parole in South Africa. One, you can have a full parole. Two, you can have a day parole. Three, you can have what is called a medical parole. A full parole is whereby you are 100% outside prison, outside a correctional center, outside a correctional facility. That is a, a full parole. This is despite the fact that there will be certain conditions that you are still expected to comply with. Now, a day parole is whereby you go outside during the day. But when the sun sets, you are expected to come back to the facility, to the correctional center to be specific. A medical parole is whereby you are released because of your medical condition. It will not be safe, it will not be proper for the person to continue behind bars, despite the fact that we have been sentenced. And therefore this person is released to go home because of his ill health. Now the question is who decides on parole? Who decides on whether a person can be released on parole or not. There is what 
there is what is called the Correctional Supervision and Parole Review Board. This is a board that is specifically constituted to deal with issues as regards the release of prisoners on parole from prison. They will state their reason why, their reasons why they believe this particular inmate should be released on parole on any of the three that I've already alluded to. They will be presented with reports with recommendations from the correctional office officers or officials. So it's not just, it's not like they just sit there and they begin to look at the list of prisoners and they thumbsack. No, they will go through the reports from correctional officials or officers. They will look at the reports, they will look at the recommendations, they will apply their minds and um, they will make a, a decision based on these reports. And even that board itself will state reasons why they feel compelled that this particular parolee or this particular prisoner should be released on parole. There are instances where the parole board can refuse or can deny an application for parole. There are instances where the decision can be reviewed, where a court of law can be asked to intervene and to take a different decision from that of the parole board. So yes, it is the mandate of the parole board to make decision as, result, as, a, as regards whether a person should be released on parole. However, there are instances where the court may be requested to intervene. Now, there is a main consideration, a main factor that is considered when making decisions whether a person should be released on parole or not. And that is the safety of the public, the protection of the public short term. Is it safe for this person to be released to the public? Is this person ready to, based on the information that we have in front of us? Is this person ready to be incorporated as a member of the society or is it going to be risky to release this person to go to the public? Now, the next question would be, when can a person apply? Because when a person is released on parole, there must be an application from this particular person, accompanied by affidavits, accompanied by reports and recommendations from correctional officers to support his application. When can this be done? In terms of the law that we have stated, it can be done after a person has served at least half of their sentence. Now, what are some of the conditions that should accompany the release of a person on parole? Because we have said that this is a person who is freed, who is given conditional freedom. He is free from the system, but he's still under the supervision of a parole authority and he's released on certain conditions. So some of those conditions may be that he must not commit an offense. He must not be in possession or he must not possess a weapon. 
and um, that he must be under supervision of the parole authority and that there will be certain instructions given to him from a community correctional officer and that he must obey those instructions. So these are some of the conditions that this person who will be later called a parole, a parolee will be released on. He must obey those conditions. He must stick, comply with those conditions. And the further instructions that would be given to him by a community correctional officer, he must comply with those as well. Because obviously each case will be treated on its own merits. So it will depend on the merits of their case as to what are the instructions that would be given to him. And it will also be dependent on what is the type of parole that was given to him. And therefore, the type of parole, the type of conditions or instructions that would be given to him would be aligned with the type of parole that is given to this particular person. Now, there are instances where some people, some parolees would violate the parole. Now, the question is, what does the law say if a person is in violation of his parole condition? The answer here is straightforward. The parole will be automatically cancelled. The person will have to return to prison and to serve the remaining sentence behind bars. So this is an illustration that it is very important that when a person is released on parole, that they obey, that they stick to, that they comply with the conditions of their parole. There is a lot that I can say about the law on parole in South Africa, but I think this is just a general outline of what it is, how it is done, when it is done, who does it, the conditions attached to it, and what happens when you break those conditions. I thank you.